The work of Sombat Sompon is well known across Southeast Asia, but his disappearance in Laos on December 15th is a mystery. It was Sombat's development work and help the poor farmers that won him one of Asia's most prestigious civil service awards. But you start with yourself. Uh, be the change you want to see, like Gandhi has said. And I think it's still very relevant. The U.S. trained agriculturist ran one of the most successful nonprofit organizations in his home country, Laos. This closed circuit video shows him being stopped at a police checkpoint in the capital. He was then taken into a building. His car is driven off by someone. Then several people come out of the building, driving off in a pickup. Sombat Sompon has not been heard from since. Sir Chai Wangail has known Sombat for 20 years. It is very difficult to believe that he can be a threat to anyone. A mild speaking person, very accommodative, a very much a person who would engage with uh, people of different opinions. Lao authorities tell Sombat's wife that they don't have him. They say he might have been kidnapped for personal or business conflicts and an investigation is underway. My husband is not a dissident. He is a very low-profile uh, social development worker interested in helping and uh, the country, uh, teaching young people in community service, empowering them. His wife tells us that Sombat's work has always been open and with the permission of the Lao government. And to her knowledge, he has never been threatened. She's calling on nations in the region, like here in Thailand, to do more. A former Thai prime minister has urged the Lao government to do just that. He and others joining a chorus of voices in and out of the region looking for answers from the communist-ruled country. If in the end it is found that members of the Lao authorities at whatever level are responsible for some bad disappearance, it will show that after all Lao is still a Stalin Stalinist state that want to keep people submissive. Either way, the near silence in the Sombat case is raising alarm. Some see it as a backtrack on the road to a more liberal and open Laos. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.